Hey, welcome to an episode of Whiskey Wednesday. It's been like a month since my last episode. Uh, so we're doing Tennessee whiskey tonight, which is very, very similar to bourbon. And I have the most popular, not only the old, most popular Tennessee whiskey, but the most popular whiskey probably in the world. Good old, old number seven from Jack Daniels. Sour Mash. This is an 80 proof. Got my little 50 mil plastic bottle here. And on my other hand is Jack Daniels Gentleman Jack, which is basically the same thing, except it undergoes a second uh, charcoal filtration process. So Tennessee whiskey is almost identical to bourbon. The only difference is that it has to go through this. Well, it has to be made in Tennessee, obviously. And it goes through the, what's it called? Lincoln... Lincoln County filtration or something like that. Lincoln County process, yeah. So they filter it through 10 feet of sugar maple charcoal, which are like they take sugar maple trees, cut them down, burn it, and that's like charcoal. And then they filter the uh, the mash through there. And the difference between old number seven, the original, and the Gentleman Jack is that the Gentleman Jack goes through that process again uh, after it's being burble, uh, after it's barrel aged, as far as I know. So in my right hand, I got old number seven and in the left hand, I got gentleman Jack The different. You can tell the old number seven has one and gentleman Jack has two. So on based on the number of filtration processes they go through. So we will start with good old number seven, Jack Daniels. Okay. So I get a little bit of like kind of like a paint thing on here, but I will say it is remarkably sweet. It almost has like a soda kind of smell to it, a bit of like a cola or something like that. Definitely kind of woody. Um, it doesn't have like the same, doesn't have like the, um, like the vanilla character or like, like a oaky character of, of like most bourbons. This is almost like a lighter kind of thing. I, by the way, I have a uh, Lou Bryson's tasting whiskey here, and he has you know a bunch of pages on Tennessee whiskey, and so Gentleman Jack right here is like considered the sweetest, and then Old Number Seven is towards the middle, and then all the way on the other end is uh, Jack Daniel's Single, which is considered very oaky. Which I haven't, I haven't seen that one, but I will try to pick that up. All right, so let's give the Gentleman Jack. Okay, this one has a. It's not as sweet. It's funny. This has like kind of like more of a bourbony kind of smell. This to me, the uh, gentleman Jack seems a little bit more. Actually, is kind of vanilla and woody. They both have a bit of a a solventy kind of aroma to them. Very cleaning out my sinuses, but um, yeah, they're. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's not fair to do them right. I would say like they both smell. Very, very similar. As far as appearance, not sure how this pick it up on camera. I'll show I'll take a show you pictures of but to me they're both pretty much identical. Uh kind of a dark gold amber kind of color, very clear. Um definitely getting the uh the alcohol legs on the glasses there. So let's start with old number seven. Cheers. Hmm. <coughs> Drinking liquor straight, yeah, always makes me cough. Always clears my sinuses too. So I will say, like, this has like kind of like a a lighter taste than most bourbons, which I think is due to the filtration process. Like, you know, I was just reading about the difference between like you know traditional Kentucky bourbon and Tennessee whiskey, and that filtration process they just keep saying smoother and mellower. So I guess you lose a little bit of sweetness or you lose like a little bit of like the maybe terroir character or like the, the you know, fermentation character. I, just, I, I will say like I, I definitely noticed the just the actual raw alcohol a little bit more in the Jack Daniels than I have in like the bourbons and the scotches that we've done on this show. Which is really interesting because this is both of these are only 80 proof, which is like kind of on the lighter end of uh you know bourbon or you know whiskey in general let's try the gentleman jack 
the gen- <laughs> the gentleman jack is definitely way smoother uh right off the rip it also seems to have like a, a little bit thicker mouthfeel on it as well i wouldn't call this one like particularly sweet not that i can really really have a whole lot of frame of reference um yeah this one's a little bit more which which is interesting because Lou Bryson has it like on the sweet end of his, of the spectrum, and to me this one seems a little bit more more oaky. Like this, yeah, I definitely know it's going right, you know, from one to the other. The old number seven is a, a slightly lighter body. The gentleman jack seems to have like a just kind of like a cleaner taste to it. I would say, I don't know if I would I don't know if I would go as far as say like it's like noticeably sweeter. Um, but, uh, it's, it's definitely smoother and mellower, which is the whole point of the double filtration process. Yeah. This, the, to me, the gentleman Jack has like more of like a, just kind of all natural kind of taste to it. If that makes sense. And the old number seven has like a, like I, like I said, in the nose, like kind of like cola or, uh, maybe like almost approaching like kind of like a rum kind of thing. This has a bit of a spice to it. I think that's probably the differences between the two is the old number seven has a little bit of like a spicy, a spicy note on it. And the gentleman Jack, that character is pretty much gone. Like, yeah, now, now that I'm really getting into it, you know, and letting the, the glass breathe a little, I will say like both of these have, have mellowed out pretty nicely. Although I will say that the gentleman Jack was, was very mellow from the first sip. And like, just the more I sip it, the mellower that it gets. Mm. As far as um, you know, mouthfeel and all that, um, I mean, I, the the gentleman jack is definitely thicker. Oddly enough, you think it'd be you think it'd be the other way around because like this is double filtered, so it'd be like maybe it loses something on the, that second pass through the filtration. But uh, I don't know. Somehow it just seems to gain like a slightly slightly more uh, viscosity on it, which I I can't explain. I'm not a bourbon or whiskey expert. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, it's like I said, I'm still, you know, this, this show is just me exploring the whiskey world. And so I'm not giving ratings on this show other than maybe thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I like them. I also like, I think, I think the Tennessee whiskey and I mean, there, it's really hard to get like actual authentic Tennessee whiskey aside from this brand, just cause it's so ubiquitous you know the other big one is george dickel um which i will look for next time i'm at the, the liquor store but uh you know, have to say i like both of them and I, I mean i've had jack daniels many many times but usually it's jack and coke like i this is my first time ever drinking jack daniels straight up unless you count one whiskey stone and like now that i'm like getting into it it is i always say it is getting a little bit sweeter um a little less spicy Yeah, and the Gentleman Jack is getting like a little bit uh, kind of vanilla flavor on it. So, yeah, I like both of them. Um, we have to do, maybe someday we'll do a blind showdown between like, you know, Jack Daniels and Maker's Mark or Jim Bean, something like that, just to see which I actually really like the best. But, you know, for my first like foray into Tennessee whiskey and like trying to like drink it as is, you know, I, I'd, I'd say this is pretty good, especially considering that it's such a you know, ubiquitous, popular brand. Usually it's like, you know, the more popular something is, the more basic it is. Um, I don't know. You have to ask. Maybe, maybe, you know, if I can get Lou Bryson on the show, you know, we can ask him. So, um, yeah. If Crummy Beard, if you're watching, let me know what you think. (laughs) Or anybody else who is just a whiskey uh, enthusiast, let me know. And I will see you guys Hopefully, you know, not a month from now, but it could be a month from now. I'm going to try to, I would, I do, I'd love to do this weekly instead of monthly, but anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 